Hello everybody, welcome to this next video on linear algebra. We were discussing some results on spanning sets. So this is the next video. Here we are going to discuss one more result. So I'll just write down the statement for the result first. The statement says that suppose u1, u2, um, you have a set u1, u2, um. Suppose this set spans v, you have a vector space v and this is a spanning set for that particular space v and suppose out of these u1, u2, um uh, on the way you have somewhere uk and suppose uk is a linear combination we have already studied this fact of linear combination of some other u's <coughs> then some other u's means some other uh, from this set only you have this uk as a linear combination of other u's then u1 u2 um without uk so you have removed uk okay so precisely you can write it as u1 u2 uk minus 1 then you have uk plus 1 um <coughs> also spans <coughs> v right so this is quite natural for example suppose uh, you can you can relate it to something like uh, there is a task right uh, and the completion of the task needs one plumber right one plumber and one electrician right and suppose you have a team which contains two plumber and one electrician so obviously this team can fulfill your task so this team can fulfill your task and also from this team, if you remove one plumber, that will also fulfill your task. So same is here, right here, this UK is actually dependent on some of the UMs. It means that it is, a, it is an element which is not having anything new, right? So everything which UK contains already is there in some of the U's. So you can remove this particular entry and still you have the property of spanning right so let us prove it mathematically <coughs> so proof is so you have you are saying that <coughs> u1 u2 um spans v so it means that given any element small v of capital v you can find constants right alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha m such that v is equal to alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus alpha k uk plus so on alpha m um right there is no uh, like this is uh, quite general and now since uk is a linear combination of is a linear combination of some of the u's So let us call these u's as u1, u2, uj. So it is not compulsory that they are listed in the front. You can just choose those uj's. So you have uk as beta1, u1 plus beta2, u2 plus so on beta j, uj. <coughs> now you can write in 1 in place of uk you can write this right so you have v as alpha 1 u1 plus alpha 2 u2 plus so on alpha k into beta 1 u1 plus beta 2 u2 and so on beta j u j plus and so on alpha m u m so now if you just what you can do you do you can just combine u1 terms and then you can combine u2 terms and so on so you have alpha 1 plus alpha k beta 1 into u1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha k beta 2 into u2 and so on you have alpha j plus alpha k beta j u j and after that you have normal alpha j plus 1 u j plus 1 and so on alpha m u m so it means that Every element V in capital V can be written as linear combination of U1, U2, UJ, UJ plus 1. And you know that in this combination UK is missing. 
because in place of u k we have put this value right so it means that the set u one u two u k minus one u k plus one u m spans v right so this is the result which helps us you know to take out the un unnecessary elements from your spanning set because you want to keep it as small as possible right thank you